Madam, Geoffrey is here to see you. I know, I can see. Anything else? Did two people need to come tell me Geoffrey is here? <sighs> we are worried about you, madam. Is something going on? Please tell us. We are your servants. And also like your sisters and brothers. We have been living with you in this house since your mother who employed us died. We are shocked at the six million naira check you gave to each of us as a payoff. And your sudden decision to close down this house, saying you're going away. We are really worried. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong. I just... I want to do something different with my life right now. Besides, do you guys want to die as servants? Don't you aspire to be something else? Don't you like the opportunity I'm giving you to live your life? Now, please, tell Jeffrey I'll be with him in a second. Yes, Offer him something to drink. Okay, ma. Do you love me? Oh, babes, please. Of course you know I love you. I, I love you very much. Will you always love me? Baby, I will always love you. Always. Till death do us part. But you, why all these questions? It's getting worse. And what is getting worse? It could be any minutes now. Any day. Olivia, what are you talking about? I went to see the doctor and he said... Oh, hey, 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 Olivia, please, please. I don't care what the doctor said. Whatever he has to say, let him tell me in person. Please, I don't want this. Honestly, Olivia, I don't want this. Please. Sickle cell anemia is not a death sentence, except the crisis becomes more constant and are regular. Well, what happened is that the red blood cells, which should be spherical in shape, instead have the shape of a sickle and thus cannot move freely through the blood, causing clog in the vessels and hemoglobin cannot reach the organs. In Olivia's case, there is splenic sequestration. Uh, doctor, please, what is splenic sequestration? Well, splenic sequestration is a condition whereby the spleen is overworked due to too much bad blood to filter and this causes a shrink and of course, this could be life-threatening. Well, I'm not saying there is no hope for her. There's still hope. Uh, young man, I'm not done yet. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Excuse me, is hope in this world, I will help you find it. I'll go anywhere with you and I'll do everything for you. I will be intoxicated with the desire to see you smile every day of your life. Wherever you go, I follow. Where you rise, I will rise. And if you fall, 
my love, if you fall, I'll fall with you. Your words are very comforting. They drive away my fears already. I'm okay with that. But what I really need right now is a change of environment. I need to go away. And I want you to come with me. Even if I'm going to. Oh, no, no, don't say this, no, no. please. Let Sweetie, me, let you're, me, not, you're let, not going to let die. Let me say it. Even if I will die. I want to go knowing that I spent the, the last days of my life on earth with you. So, come with me. Let's go away. Let's rent a small house. Take a few clothes. Enough food for two. Leave all this. These complications behind. I'll leave my father's wealth. I don't care about it right now. I'll leave it to charity. I just want to be with you. You come with me. I mean, I already told you so. I'll go anywhere with you. I'll always be there for you. I'll be intoxicated with the desire to see you smile every day of your life. Trust me. Trip. Yes, Jerem. I have everything I need. Thank you. At least carry more things. You don't know how long you'll be there. Ma, are we never going to see you again? When are you coming back? I I don't know when I'll be back, but don't worry, I'll be fine. No, no, please bring out my bag. I'll, I'll go please by myself. Let him drop you, please. No, no, no. It's okay. I'll go by myself. Come, give me your phone. No, but why? Take care. Yeah. Take this. I want to use your own phone instead. Thank you. I'll be fine. I'll pray Thank for you. I'll God be blessed. Whatever you decide to do with your lives. And I'll see you when I Something so good. So priceless. So precious. Has gone out of our lives. What is this now? <laughs> okay, um, please um, give me a minute, all right? I won't be long. Just wait here. Do you want me to bring down your luggage? No, it's, it's fine. I'll be back. It's just that people are not supposed to trust taxi drivers with their luggage. Oh, um, uh, that's my biggest fault. I'm too trusting. Hi, you come. Good morning. Good morning. Where's Geoffrey? I've been trying to call him. His phone is not even going through. Uh, actually, he traveled out this morning. Traveled? Yes. To the west, I think, to see his parents. <sighs> but he has a letter for you. Should I take you back to the same place I picked you? Take me to Lugby or anywhere else around. Now, 
Lugwe is far. I hope you know that. <sighs> Bro, I feel like Judas is carrier the betrayer. You can't be Judas. Judas betrayed his master. Olivia is not your master. Then I am Brutus, the betrayer of his friend. Wrong again. You can't be Brutus. Brutus killed his king and friend. Olivia is not your king. She's only a girl. Loco, Loco, you don't understand. Look, one mind tells me that I've done a very terrible thing and the other just tells me that I've been wise. Look, how can I choose to be saddled with a sick and dying girl and defer my education? And I don't have enough reason to gamble with my future now. I don't. Geoffrey, if that question is meant for me, then I'll say I don't know. You're the one who loves Olivia. You should know better. Fukun, I, I, I love her. I love her, but just been begging for this now. My friend. I've been begging for this. My friend. Then your love is coward. Your love is chicken. It can't survive the fire. Well, if I were in your shoes, I'll do the same. Meaning? I'm equally as confused as you are in the whole matter. Go and get ready for your lectures. I'll be out soon. Never, never, never say, say you will go, go from this life, life. Never feel it, never want it, never think it, never wish it. It's a beautiful life. Good morning. Hello. Your life was good. Uh, well, I kind of slept well. There were just a few mosquitoes, but it was okay. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. Are you going out? Uh, yes. I just want to look around a bit. Have fun. I'll try. <laughs> Someone doesn't just tell you to shut up your mouth over the fact that I've taken you to court for divorce. I wonder. And why did you have to do that? Huh? Didn't you think? Oh yes, I thought. I thought of you and your boyfriend Sam. That was all I thought of. And that is all I've been thinking of since I found out. And that was what I thought of when I went to court. Simple. Oh. You should be thinking about your daughter too. Mm. And the trauma this whole divorce proceeding is putting her through. Mommy, please, it's enough. Let's go inside now, please. Listen to me. Your father was insensitive. He's insensitive and will continue to be an insensitive man. I see. Yes. So I am insensitive because I chose to divorce a woman who was unfaithful to me. Eh? I wasn't unfaithful. I see. Yes. Where is your proof? Where is your proof, Obi? Mommy! Look, your father wants us to be uncared for and I won't let him. Yes, you won't win this case. Then get a lawyer and face me in court. It's very simple. Daddy! Hey, shut up, you little girl. I have ceased to be your daddy. You and your mommy are out of my life for good. And you better get ready to quit from this house. This one? Yes. Mommy, please. I am waiting for you to come and drive me out. Mm-hmm. Eh. Yes. Mommy, please. Look, he really has to stop coming here to trouble us all. You, we shall meet in court. The best, we shall meet there then. I will see you in court. Nonsense. Um, hello. Hi. Uh, my name is Olivia. I'm here for the job of a governess. But don't worry, just tell your mother I'll come back um, some other time. I can see it's a bad time. No, wait. I'm sure my mommy would like to see you. Come with me. I am comfort. 
The problem is we may not be able to pay you much. Anyway, have you got any experience? I mean, have you ever been a governance before? Um, no, not really. But I know I will do well. Mom, she's so beautiful. <sighs> yes, she is. Thank God you're here. I was about leaving. Oh, you. How are you? Hi. What are you doing here? I came to check on you. Yesterday you were looking very sad in the car. So I was a bit worried about you. Are you feeling better now? I'm fine. That's very sweet of you. Um, Thank you. David, David. David. Yes. Ah, David. Like the man in the Bible. He was a good man. But he liked women. A mm. great deal. And that was a joke, that was a joke. Um, so, uh, where's your car? Oh, I came with this. No, 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 you know, I do airport shuttling sometimes. Especially on Wednesday when the diplomats come, so I use it to carry them, you know, the big people. Oh, well, what are you doing tomorrow? I need to go into town, if you don't mind. About what time would you want me to come? As early as seven. Okay, I had an appointment, but I could, you know, shuffle it. How about here? Thank you very much. David. See you tomorrow. Bye, Olivia. Wait, wait, I didn't tell you my name. Oh, the hotel. When I came, uh, you know, the receptionist, I described the lady I dropped yesterday. So she said, oh, that must be Miss Olivia. So I grabbed the name from there. I see. Uh -huh. One more thing. I, I didn't like it when you said David likes him in a great deal. When I I, come on, I told you that was a joke. Okay, I don't like women a great deal. I just wanted to correct that impression. No, no, no. I like women, okay? I like women. I mean, I like women, but you, a great deal. Okay. Tomorrow, uh, then? Yeah. You said uh, 7 o'clock? Yes, 7. Okay, how about here? How could you hurt the one you claim to love? You promised me so much. You promised. Well, obviously I, I promised in a hurry. I actually promised without thinking. I mean, come to think of it, Olivia, this is crazy. How could I have promised you my life? How did I promise you my, my, my education? How could I have promised you my, my very future? Was I nuts? The same way I would give those things to you without batting an eye. Ask them from me, my education, my life, my future. I will give them to you without thinking. Well, you can afford to say those things now because you're... Look, o Olivia, that's where we're both different, okay? I, 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 I think with my brain. And your heart? Well, my, my heart acts according to the instructions of my brain and not the other way around. Trifi, this isn't you. This, this person talking is not you. Do you realize I'm living my last days? I could vanish from the face of this earth any minute. All I ask is to spend these last days with you. That's all. job already okay a very simple family the pay is good for me they've offered me a room in the house oh. look just wait come with me oh. right it's not even far from the city okay you can still go for lectures if that's what you want if you don't want to stay there with me or rent a room or, or, or a flat whatever you want just come with me Olivia this is crazy I man you have a beautiful mansion what's wrong with us living there Instead of living some squalid life in some hovel in a slum. Why? Look, I have enough of that life, all right? I want another. I want one without servants waiting at my beck and call or, or the generator coming on when the light goes off. I want a simple life and I want it with you. 
That's the only way I will die happy. Don't you understand? Geoffrey, please. I knew he was going to make you cry again. Are you alright? Are you alright? Is she better now? Are you the young man that brought Miss Oliver in? Obviously, Doctor. You shall with now. Okay, please come with me. Okay. If you hang around me a bit longer, you get used to it. I faint. Sometimes. So, um, are they going to let you go soon? Or should I wait around and drop you off at home? No. Doctor insists that I have to stay overnight this time. And it's such a mess considering I have a lot to do. Well, um, sorry about that. Is there... Anything I can help you out with? Oh, uh, yes, actually. Two things. I need to inform my new employer that I won't be coming. Unless I lose my newly found job. You need to keep your hand. Okay, fine. So, I can just uh, go over there and tell him you took ill? No, no, no. no. Please, don't tell her I'm sick. I they think they've employed a fragile person for the job, nah. You can tell I traveled, went to get my stuff, and I won't be back till tomorrow or something. Then, secondly, I need you to go back to my boyfriend's house. Geoffrey, the place you've been taking me. Just let him know I'm here and he needs to come see me. The same guy who makes you cry all the time? So why don't you just uh, call him on the phone instead? Tried. He's not picking. I guess he still feels guilty about the way he's treated me. So, what did the doctor say is wrong with you? I'm sick. I'm very sick. I get weak and then I faint. But don't worry, once I'm in here, I'm, I'm fine. I'm as good as new. You sure you're gonna be alright? Yeah. The drip. I think it's trying to be faster than this. Get in the car. I said no. And I, I, 
I don't, I don't think it's even wise for me to go to the hospital and see her. I, I, I don't. Geoffrey, get in the car. She wants to see you. She's not well. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. You have such a pretty girl in a platter of gold and you treat her like this. I mean, something is wrong with you, right? Well, I don't know about your values, boy. First of all, I'm not a boy, I'm a man. I don't know about your values, but I tell you what. A girl that is at the terminal stage of sickle cell anemia is not the kind of girl I like to hang out with. You feel me, right? <laughs> Bro, Olivia is dying. Olivia is dying? Yes. Olivia is dying. Day. Jesus Christ. She may not even last a year. Jesus Christ. Now, if that doesn't scare you, it scares the pants off me. You're shocked, right? Well, I can see you've not known her for so long. And from the look of things, you, you also like her a lot. Well, that's cool by me. At least she'll have a replacement now that I'm gone because, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy. I can't continue loving a girl who can drop dead at any time. It's, I, I don't know. Besides, I, I just shut up. Death, I, I'm not a bad guy. If you lost a silver coin and you found a gold coin, would that make you happier? I don't care for silver or gold. I prefer diamonds. They last forever. Just answer the question. Okay, yes. Um, if I lost my silver coin and found a gold one, I would be ecstatic. What's with all the questions? The real gold and diamonds and the future. You must stop focusing too much attention on this Geoffrey of a guy. You must stop letting him weigh you down. Like we all know, life can be cruel sometimes. Not everybody you love love you back equally.
it's your liver. Do you like your liver? Um, yes, baby. It's nice. It used to be my mommy and daddy's room till they left us. Now nobody sleeps here. Even my mom does not like to come here because it reminds her the days we lived in peace with daddy and it makes her cry. And so Olivia, do you think mommy will begin to come to this room now that you're the one staying here? Well, I don't know. But maybe if I smile more, and your mommy sees how happy I am in this room. She'll start to come back in. What do you think? Good. See, I told you. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Nothing. Uh -uh. Anyway, how are you settling down? Uh, very well, Mrs. Roberts. Not bad. I like. Comfort. Call me comfort. I'm a very sudden missus so we didn't get over name. Anyway, <laughs> you see, besides being a governess to my, I mean a tutor to my daughter. Whilst I'm at work, I also want us to be friends. Because hmm? aside Bobby, I don't have any friend. It would be my greatest pleasure. All right, I... Food will be ready by the time you finish it and down. All right? Okay. Thank you. Bobby, mommy needs a hand in the kitchen. Help me wash the dishes then, okay? Okay, yeah. mommy. I'll be back after I finish washing the dishes for my mom. Ha! Oh. Are you sure you don't want me to help? Okay. Thank you. Already. I am. And that's exactly what I need right now. One beautiful life. Seeing that I have no time left. <sighs> don't worry, okay? You will be fine. You don't even know what I'm referring to. That's okay. I do. You do? I told Dr. Thomas not to say anything. See, Olivia, Dr. Dr. Thomas didn't say anything to me. Your, your boyfriend, Geoffrey, did. What? See, but it doesn't change anything. It, it, it doesn't change the way I feel about you. I've fallen in love with you, Olivia. Four. Papa. Excellent. Papa. One more. Lemon. Clap for yourself, sweetheart. Very good. Very good. Very good. I'm very impressed. Forgetting all your answers, right? This is a gift. Even Joe, don't worry. Even if you had failed at giving you. Now, what's the next subject to do? Baby, what's wrong? Don't you like it? Nobody has bought me a new dress since my father left us. Thank you, aunt. It's all right. Come on. I know your father hasn't left you. He'll be back, okay? Don't worry. No, he won't come back. He has already sued mommy for a divorce and is going to throw us out of this house. Sweetheart, do you even know the meaning of the word divorce? No, but I know that my mommy does not have enough money to pay a lawyer. School will soon resume and my mommy does not have enough money to pay for my school fees. That means I won't see my friend again. Well, at least you have me and I have you. You and I can remain friends, can't we? Look, don't worry. Your mommy will get a lawyer and she will pay your school fees. Even if it means I have to contribute all my salaries. 
and beg all my friends to contribute their own salaries. Hmm? We'll get you a lawyer and you will win the case. Auntie, is my mommy a bad woman? No, honey. Why do you ask? What did she do? Because daddy was drinking too much and was not bringing money for food. My mommy borrowed money from Uncle Sam, my daddy's friend. The day he came to collect his money, my mommy was crying because she didn't have any money to give him. So he consoled my mommy like this and told her that she should stop crying, that everything would be all all right. Then daddy walked in and was screaming and calling their names and he backed out and since he has been wicked to us. Auntie, is my mommy a bad woman for letting Uncle Sam hold her and clean her tears? No, honey, no. No, your mommy is not a bad woman. No. Auntie, is my daddy a bad man? Sweetheart, listen to me. It is not for us to judge who is bad and who is good. Alright? But I can promise you, everything will be alright. Okay? Now, cheer up. And let's continue with our lesson. Now, what's our next topic? Baba! Barbara! Barbara! Come, what's your problem? Who, who are you shaking away from me? Now stand one place, you little devil. And listen to me very well. I have come for you to tell me the whole truth about Uncle Sam and your mother. How often does he come here whenever I'm away at work? Or even when I'm at the club. So tell me. Daddy, first of all, I won't answer your question because you called me a little dev. I am not a little dev. Will you answer me, you hell bound side? Now listen, you will go to hell if you disobey me. Now tell me the whole truth about your mother. Go ahead. What's going on here? Good morning, sir. You could have sworn I heard loud voices. What is it, Bobby? Will you leave her? Come, come down. Will you? Stay there. Now go ahead, tell me the whole truth about your mother and listen, this little soul will go to hell if you don't tell me the truth. Now go ahead. God, sir, what is the problem? And please, mind your choice of language, she's still a child. Barbara, who is this squatter? Who is she? And what is her position in this house to question me? Oh, oh. so the mother has resorted to getting beggars from the street? and bringing them to this house and having them query me in the house that I'm paying rent? I beg your pardon, sir. I am no beggar and I'm definitely not from the streets. Ah. Well, you go and get some help because you certainly do look like a sick street beggar who is ready to drop dead the next minute. Get out of my sight. And you, I will come back. I will come back. And please let us go inside. Bobby has told me everything. And don't tell me you took the ranting of my ex-husband serious. Hmm? He called me sick. Sick and ready to die. Please cheer up. Hmm? Please. Please cheer up. You know why 
he said is not true. You're fit and strong. <laughs> and to leave us stop crying. No, 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 no. No, please stop crying. <laughs> a young man. And then he gets yourself a young girl. Mm. You use the fact that I asked your friend's son for money as a big excuse. Things are beginning to get more interesting. Come. Who showed you my place? No, who showed you my new house? Who? Please stop this out. I'll be in the bedroom. Okay. Hey. Now, get out of the house. I said, get out! <laughs> oh my god. The monster himself has tended. And I'm shaking all over in fear. Well, Obi, listen to me. You can do whatever you please with your life. But what I will not take from you is to come to my house and insult my young daughter in her government with your foul language and foul tongue. Now, get out, you whore. this man. Uh, Samson, my dear, uh, please listen to me. I need your help. My help? You already have it. Okay, I... Okay, you know what? Can you meet me at the house tomorrow by 9 a.m. as early as 9? I'll, I'll even be there by 8 o'clock. And let me share this good news with you. I now own a supermarket. Are you serious? Ah, uh, Samson, that's very good news. I'm happy to hear that. Okay, thank you very much. You know, I'm, I'm proud that you put the money I gave to you to good use. Very good. Okay, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, now don't forget. Bye-bye. Yeah, Come here to live with us. Where do you come from? You know something, Bobby? 
Where we come from is not what matters. It's where we're going to. Life is too short, so I must live it to the fullest. How would you do that? Uh, by loving all things lovable, helping those who need my help, and most especially, putting a smile on the faces of those I cherish, like you. Now, time for lesson. Open your page to page two. Olivia, good afternoon. Something. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm okay. Congratulations about your shop. Thank you very much. Very happy. Yeah. Okay. Um, very quickly now. Something, you have to do me a favor. Okay. Take this check. Okay. Go and cash it, eh? Okay. Go to number 10 Patrick Street at Lube. Ask for a Madame Comfort. Give the money to her. Mm. Tell her it's from an anonymous donor. Someone who has seen her plight in the hands of her husband and wants to help. Okay. Mm -hmm. She should use it and get herself a lawyer. Okay, madam. Please don't mention my name. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, madam, I suppose you don't want me to ask any question. You suppose correctly. Take care of yourself, okay? okay. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Okay. Now, To the top of the I will sing all the good things he has done for me. I will praise him. I will adore him. I always sing to his name. I am so happy. I can see that. I, I am happy. so happy. Money. Money, my sister. Well, you won the lottery? You see? When one is passing through pain and sorrow in life, one may lose hope and think that no one is looking or that no one cares. But there's always somebody who cares. And often through their kind gesture, they prove to us that we are not alone. Mm. No, we're not alone. What is this? That's money. <laughs> Sorry. So sorry. Hello, madam, I've given the money to the family. A good Samaritan who doesn't wish to be known sent us this money. Really? Yes. To cater for ourselves and to find a lawyer to represent me in court. Oh. Hey. Hello, madam, I've given the money to the family. When the divorce case comes up. Oh, this is good news. 500,000 naira. See. Wow. See. Ah, my sorrow, don't finish me. You need me. to go and keep this safe. Really, it's not a good thing. Yeah. Look, I am ready to pay for your school fees. All right. Hey, give me one minute, I'll be back. No problem. One minute, I'll be back. Let's yeah. keep it safe. Don't worry, you deserve it. Hey, madam. Yes, yeah, Samson. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I had to cut the phone on you. I was in a, in a place I couldn't talk freely. Okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. All right, good night, Samson. Okay, thank you, Mama. Good night, Mama. Bye. Time 
falling down on my knees. Girl, I'm praying for you. Hello. Hi. I want to take you somewhere. Uh, I'm home alone with Bobby. What do I do? Just come with me. All right, bring her along, huh? Okay, one second. Everybody says that we can make another house. You still haven't said where you're taking us. A little suspense is good for the mind, my dear. I don't you think so. Well, this suspense is lasting 40 minutes already. Where exactly are you driving to? Be patient, I'll somewhere there. Or do you think I'm taking you away to kill you? <laughs> you really think I'll be scared of death at this point in my life? Think again. Everybody's afraid of death until you know you are not. No, sweetie, I'm not. Why? Even my mom is afraid of death. Enough of the death talk, okay? Okay, aunt. Everybody says that we can make another house. You are welcome to my house. Please feel at home. Your house? Bobby, please explore the house while I talk to Auntie Olivia. Okay. So, you are a taxi driver and you live in this kind of house. Explain. Now, first of all, I'm not a taxi driver. Clearly. I could tell there was something different about you. I mean, your charisma, your polished English, polite manner, which I know most taxi drivers in this country do not have. So, uh, go ahead, surprise me some more. You see, the first time I saw you, standing by the roadside and flagging me down, I, I just saw this pretty innocent looking girl and, and when you flagged me down I stopped because I actually wanted to give you a ride. Continue. So when you said, taxi, how much to hire you for one hour? I just, I just played along because I actually wanted to give you a ride, so I pretended to be a taxi driver. But I'm not a taxi driver. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what exactly are you? Okay, let's, um, let's just say I'm an event promoter. You see, I... I actually run my own event management company. And I'm in love with you. <sighs> you, you. You don't have to say anything now. What, what I feel for you is enough for both of us. Okay, I'm, I'm happy to have known you, to have loved you, to have felt this way for somebody, to everything. Please. Let me... It won't last. Olivia. Even if it lasts for one day, I, I will happy, I will grateful to God to have known you, to have loved you, to, to have been with you, to have known a wonderful person like you. Even if it lasts one day, I will be happy. Words. Words and more words. I heard that all before. Olivier, I am not Geoffrey. I am not the same thing as Geoffrey. The house is beautiful. Oh. Okay, come sit here. We'll go home just soon, okay? Are you hungry? You know, you must, you must really love this little girl a great deal. I do. You know, I feel very lucky. 
I'm very grateful to God because at this point in my life when the end is near, I'm suddenly surrounded by so many beautiful things. I know you're wondering why I bother with someone like Geoffrey who does not appreciate my love. But you see, the truth is, loving Geoffrey is probably the only thing that keeps me alive. I may not love you, David, but I want you to know I appreciate your presence in my life at this point. Because the truth is, you're probably my only rock, and I'm grateful. You seem surprised to see me. Oh, you thought I'd have died of the heartache you gave me. Look. I'm not here to fight you, okay? I didn't come to blame you either. I just had this sudden urge to see your face, and I thought I'd come check up on you. Oh. Uh, well, I, Olivia, I, uh, I, I, I actually missed you. Yeah, I did. I, I, I missed you so much, and everybody in school misses you, and they've been asking me after you. And, and what did you tell them? Olivia, I, I've actually been meaning to call you. There's this. Why? Have you run out of money? Yes. So why didn't you call? Look, Geoffrey, there's no need for this guilty conscience you have, all right? There's no rule that says you must love everybody who loves you back. Despite your lying words and deceitful smile, I still love you. Loving you makes me happy. And right now, my happiness is all that I care about. So it's okay. I'm happy doing what I'm doing. Well, I've seen that you're okay. I'm going to go. Check your account tomorrow. I'll pay something for you. And Geoffrey, telling David about my medical condition was totally uncalled for. It's my condition and my business to tell. Okay? Obi, Obi, I don't get you. Huh? Are you such a sadness that you derive pleasure from coming here every time to disturb us? Huh? <laughs> Bring me our marriage certificate and I will leave you alone for now. I won't. You won't? Yes, I won't. watch me. I will go in there and get it back for you. You watch me. Oh, you won't do that. Dad, what is it again today? Uh, ask him. Thank you. Mommy, use that money they sent to us to get a lawyer. This is getting too much. Thank you, Mommy. So you have finally succeeded in turning this girl against me. Eh? By the way, who gave you money? Who gave you money? You want to know, Obi? You want to know? Trust me, I am getting a lawyer today. Who will get a court injunction stopping you from coming close to me and Babi until this divorce case is decided? Yes. So, new boyfriends are coming into the picture now and giving you money. She. You see? I said it before. You are loose. Very loose. You see? And what are you? You are a dog. Yes, you. Are you calling me names? Who started first? Huh? Who started first? Obi, trust me. Trust me. I am getting a lawyer. You better leave us alone. No? Leave us alone. Thank God I have money now. Yes. I am going to get a lawyer today, today. Look at you. You, you. you talk as if you expect the mere mention of a lawyer to scare me. Look, what matters is I am getting a lawyer. Yes. And you, I am going to fight you with the last drop of my blood. 
Yes. And you are surely going to pay for abandoning me and my daughter. Mm -hmm. Wait. Wait till the court hear my side of the story. And we will know who is the loose one. Today, we shall see. We shall surely see. Yes, Obi. Shame unto you. Mommy, he's afraid now. Don't mind him. He knows we can afford a lawyer now. My angel, let's get inside. Shameful man. Are you okay? <sighs> Don't mind that, my ex stupid husband. He has come here to the stand this early morning. Can you imagine? <sighs> anyway, how are you this morning? I'm fine, thank you. Well, Olivia, I have come to pay your first salary. Salary? Yeah. But, uh, and the comfort is not even the end of the month yet. Why are you paying me? What is the point of waiting for months and when I have the money now? Hmm? Look, here is 20,000 I have for you. We agreed on 15. You are overpaying me. Olivia. It is my joy to share with you what I have received freely from God sent Good Samaritan. Come on, take it. It's our good fortune. And I must say, you've brought luck to my house. Yes. Well, thank you very much. And God bless you. May He replenish your pockets with this. Come on, my dear. You don't have to thank me. If you thank me now, what, what shall I do to the man who sent us this money? Eh? Whom I have not worked for. Tell me. And if I ever find out who he is, I will go to him, lie at his feet, and kiss it. <laughs> anyway, I have to go. You know, we work as at Ministry of Work. We are forbidden from coming even one minute late to work. I understand. <laughs> so you take care of yourself and Bobby for me. I will. Thank you so much. Hey. Don't thank me. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you. Yeah. No, thank you for using me to bless this wonderful family. It's the least I can do before. I've been paid my first salary, and I was kind of hoping you'd agree to take me shopping. I need to get a few things. You were paid? It's not on end yet, is it? I know, but she paid me anyway. Oh, really? She did. Is it right? Um, sit down, make yourself comfortable. I'll just uh, get my khaki. David. Um. <clears throat> I just wanted to say thank you. You're a good man. Thank you. Sit down. You know, so that was how I came to live in Abuja and uh, started my own company. So, your turn. My turn what? Tell me about yourself. There's nothing to tell you. Already know all there is to be known about me. I only know that you're sick. And that you live with that woman. And that you never Joffrey. So I don't really know much. I mean, come on, I'm your friend. I've known you for about two weeks now. At least every friend is supposed to know a little about his friend. Please? Well, you're right. You've been very good to me and the least I can do is tell you the whole truth about me, right? Yeah. 
My full name is Olivia Abel White. I'm the only surviving member of the Abel White family, which consisted of two girls and a boy. I lost my brother and sister to sickle cell. My brother was the first to go, and after he died, my father left my mom with her two girls because he discovered we all had the disease. Three years later, my sister died. And my mom died only two years ago in a plane crash. So, you see, this is me trying to get used to the fact that I'll be joining the family legacy. You know, I, I have mixed feelings about this because I'm happy I get to see my family again. But the fear of the unknown. Why have you brought us back here? Why are you lighting a candle? I'm in love with this candle. It is right before my eyes. Yeah, that's a bones bright and beautiful like this. My pen just grows heavier. Because I know it's burning out. I know it is dying slowly. Still, I love it. I'm trying to stop it from dying. But the candle just dies and it's killing me. Pleading with it. I'm begging it. I'm saying, Kendo, please, will you stay alive for me? Will you stay with me a little more? Will you be here? Don't go. But still, it dies. And it just kills me. It just kills me on and on. Watching your life. Like a candle, I'm holding on. Wish you never go. Where you go, I follow. Where you glow, I flow. Please, darling, don't blow away like the snow.
So, um, <clears throat> are you coming in? I'll just go home. Because of Jeffrey? You two have a lot to talk about, I'm sure. Okay. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I see you're still hanging with that guy. What are you doing here? And who showed you this place? Well, I, uh... I... I came to thank you, actually, for the money. I withdrew it, and I called Samson, and he gave me your address. You called Samson? Why didn't you just call me? I'd have given it to you. Well, I... I didn't know. I thought you wouldn't give me. You didn't know. Like, you don't know how much I love you, Jeffrey. In a very stupid way, if I may add. And him? David is my friend. I know he feels stronger than that for me, but notwithstanding, he's the only companion I have at this moment. Whatever, why are you sitting outside anyway? I I went to the house. They don't know me, so I said I should wait here for you. I I hope you didn't say anything about me because they don't know anything. No, I didn't tell them anything. All right, let's go inside. You know, you know what? David would have taken this oh. bag. Oh, Olivia, Olivia, please, please, I don't like this. You don't like what? Why are you comparing me with David? Because I wish you could be half the man he is, Geoffrey. Thank you. See you went shopping. Yes. And don't tell me you use your salary to shop for us. Well, I didn't need to shop for myself. I have everything I need. My soap, my cream, clothes and shoes. <sighs> Most especially a home where I'm loved by both of you. Thank you, Auntie. I'll check them out in mommy's room. You will? Well, have fun doing that. <laughs> Bobby. See ya. Olivia, you see, if angels ever walked on this earth, you must be one. There's something different about you. Something I, I really... I figure it out. I... I need to rest. Yeah, you, you need to rest there. Mm -hmm. Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. Olivia. Hey. Olivia. Olivia. What is wrong with her? No worry, don't worry. She'll be fine. We'll just get a taxi. We need to take her to the hospital. Olivia! Don't worry, she'll be fine. Just get a taxi, okay? Please, just get a taxi. Oh my god, have mercy. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oops. Yeah.
Aunt Olivia, Aunt Olivia, how did you do this at so beautiful? Aunt Olivia, Mommy, Aunt Olivia. With such pain. Ah, poor girl. Did you see the, the, the pain she went through before she passed out? Yeah. God. But it's one of our crises. Ah, she'll be fine. It's actually normal with her. When it happens, you know, after a while, she'll be fine. Okay? <sighs> What is wrong with her? I, wh what did the doctor say? Uh, well, madam, since Olivia now lives with you, I might as well tell you. You see, Olivia has sickle cell anemia. of stress, depression, or exposure to much heat or cold could trigger off a crisis. In this case, I think it's the whole stress of running around and shopping for today. But don't worry, don't worry, she'll be fine, okay? Come on, madam, madam, she'll be fine. God have mercy. Are you sure she'll be fine? Madam, she will be fine. The doctor that is taking care of her right now is an experienced hematologist. And he has been doing that for a very long time. She will be fine. Okay? Come on, let's go and see her. She'll be fine. Okay? Let's go and see her. Please. Wipe your tears, please. Let's go. Too much. Let's go. Too much for that poor girl. Too much. She'll be fine. Let's go and see her. Wipe your tears, okay? Isn't the best she knows? Oh, no! Oh God, I don't believe you. Oh, Olivia, please, I just had to tell her at least so she'll know what to do in case of future crisis. <sighs> Jeffrey, I don't know what to say to you right now. <sighs> Olivia. <sighs> Are you angry with him? Please don't be. I think it's better I know. 
you know you're part of my family now. I, myself and my daughter love and care about you so much. You'll be fine. Why exactly are you still hanging around with you? Has your love for me finally conquered your fear for death? Or is it just out of pity for a poor dying girl? Or maybe you feel obligated because I paid your school fees. Please, if that's the case, don't no, bother. No. You see, my love has conquered my fear. And Right now, I just want to be with you. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's just how sincere you look when you say these words. Honey, this is different. Totally different. You know, I... I've been doing a lot of thinking lately about us, and... I've made up my mind to be with you. Bobby. Hi. Goodbye. Yes. Olivia, how are you feeling? Fine. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine. Do you like your dresses? Yes. Olivia, I I brought part of the money they gave me to settle your hospital bill. Yes, I brought 100,000 Naira. Auntie, did you hear mommy? Yes, sweetie. I heard. But I'm sorry, I can't take the money. Why is it small? Don't worry, I can bring all of it. No, 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 it's not that. I've paid for it, the bill. I'm sorry. I... A relative of mine came over and paid the bill. So, keep your money. Get yourself a lawyer, that's what's important right now. Oh, David! Hey, how are you? Olivia, who told him you're here? He has as much rights to be here as you do. David, David! Please, come in. How are you today? I'm fine. I came out of my head. How are you? Um, I'm fine. But I'd be much better if the two of you could be friends. Please, for my sake, at least say hi to each other. Bobby. You don't look happy at all. Hmm? You're not happy until you rest in the hospital, are you? Jeffrey, come on. Okay, if you want me to get out of this hospital alive, you have to say hi to yourselves. I'm sorry. Please. Look at you. What's your mommy feeling? You're so happy. Hi. Forget to give me your phone number before you leave here so I could call you from time to time and check on you and send you a little something for school. Okay. All right, I'll take your number too. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? <sighs> now I'm happy. I'm surrounded by everybody I care about. <sighs> Life is beautiful, after all. Get 
getting very hot, so we had better be going. Besides, almost time for Bobby's evening lessons. Honey, don't you think it's time to come back home? I mean, you've done so much for that family. You've given them money, your time, everything. And come back to a more comfortable environment. Let, let us take care of this thing together, please. Having a change of environment was a whole idea in the first place. Besides, I'm happy. I'm finally doing something meaningful with my life. Touching the lives of others in a way I never thought possible. Like you know, I've never worked a day in my life. I'm happy doing the job I do, not knowing where my next meal will come from. I'm glad to be living a normal life, no matter how short. Do you understand? Hmm. You see, I feel a lot of joy that this person, man or woman, who remembered me before has remembered me again. And I call for God's blessing to fill him up. I mean, from head to toe. But please tell him we're not going to accept his money unless we see him in person. Hmm? Tell him it is our utmost desire to see the face of a good man who has blessed our lives in more than many ways already. Hey, madam. Uh, there is one millionaire in this envelope here. Do you realize uh, how much money you are rejecting? What my mommy is saying is we will no longer accept help from a person we don't know and cannot say thank you to. Okay, I will tell him what you've said. But please do accept this one that you have sent already. I will tell him before he send any other one more. Please, please take the money back to him hmm? and tell him to reveal his, his kind self to us first. Did I tell you she was dying? Sorry, I'll be inside. What did you do? Go about telling the whole world I'm sick and dying? It's really, wait, 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 wait. Don't get upset with me, please. I, it, it's not how it happened. I, I, I just, I just needed someone to confide in. It, it's not how it happened, please. Don't get angry, okay? Just brief him on it and get back to it. Honey, don't get angry, please. It, it, it's... Oh. Okon! First of all, Okon, I'm not going to shout and scream at you for being so insensitive and letting your mouth drip. I'm not even going to get upset for this particular day that you've done me wrong, Okon. Bros, sorry now. Uh -uh. I was only excited when I saw both of you together. You know, now I begin talk. I talk good talk, bad talk. 
You know we political science students, we talk too much. Forgive me now. Anyways, whatever. Okon, we need you to assist us. Who is we? Ah. Olivia and I now, who else? I did hear you. As I was saying, we need you to pretend to be a very rich man. Now, the story is very simple. Olivia is living with a family in Lube. A woman that has been divorced by the husband and she's living with the daughter. Now, Olivia has been sending them money. She sent the first one and they accepted. She sent the second one, they did not accept. Why? Are they crazy? Okon, can you just keep quiet? Let me finish. I'm quiet. Continue. Now, they desire to see the person that has been sending them the money. At least to thank the person before accepting the next one. Strange. This is very strange. It beats my imagination as to why some people behave this way. Well, Okon, my friend, it is called decency. Everybody is not like you. Some people are decent. Or like you, Jufri. Now you know like money. You think I don't know why you are dating Olivia? <laughs> Okon, 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 please. Let's not digress and forget the matter at hand, please. Now, you want me to act as the benefactor, helping this woman and her child, Abby? Exactly. I can do it. But you and Olivia have to pay me money, cash. There are about five different Senegalese brocades in there. And I'll try each of them so I will know the one that best gives you the, the look you want. Is it the look you want or the look I want? Shut up, you two talk. You make a come out. Oh, boy, don't tell me to shut up. And I'll go to that woman and her daughter and tell her what people are up to. Ah, you don't know this one is an impersonation. How can you say that kind of thing? Who are we impersonating? Who? Am I a rich man? Do I have 5,000 naira in my account? I'm, I'm, I'm pretending to be a rich man. Is that not impersonation? I beg, hurry up. I have a lot of things to do today. But there's no blue now. I like blue. Only sky blue. Well, I manage it. Go. This is all I could get. I stop paying the lawyer and my school fees. Oh, so you pay for her school fees as well. That's very good. Yeah. But does that mean you won't be needing a governess anymore? No. Come on. You're part of the family now. Hmm? Anyway, I had only 3,000 naira on me, so I couldn't buy frozen chicken to fry for him. Is, is that what's bothering you? Yes. At least our benefactor will know we're not ungrateful. Don't worry. I'm sure he would appreciate whatever we give him, but, but if you insist, I can always give you some of my salary. No. You can't do that. Keep it. You will need it. Okay? At least our benefactor will have to do without fried chicken. He knows we are not well to do for us. He knows it. Trust me, I don't think you'll mind. <clears throat> Why don't you rest? And I'll prepare this food myself. Oh, no. I have to help you.
by here. Hey. And good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. You're welcome. Is this the man who said I and my family should not die? Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, yes, yes, you are, you are correct, madam. Uh, Mr. Okoniwala. Oh my God. Yay. Young man, may the kindness and mercy of the Lord follow you all the days of your life. Madam, thank you. And as you have extended life to me and my family, may God extend life to you abundantly. Amen. Sit up. Please do not kneel down for me. I receive from God without paying a price. So do I give to your family without a price. Thank you very much. May God bless you too, and the whole house. But still God bless you. Thank you, madam. Ah, see, ah, you see, you're very much welcome to my humble home. Please, I have prepared something little for you to eat. Thank you. Becky, can we go? I beg. Okay. God bless you. You didn't say you were taking it out. You see, when I first started business, I started as a rice merchant. I got my money through hard work, sheer doggedness, and the will to succeed. Unfortunately for me, I succeeded. It is always good to have money in your bank account. But I think it is always better to, you know, bring out some to help people. I mean, the poor, the poor. Please, sir. But how did you know us? Little girl, there was this day I was passing by with my Jaguar. Mm -hmm. And I saw this man raining a business at you. I almost set my mopole on him. But then, I just said, what the hell? And I left him. That was the day I knew people. Oh, that must be my ex-husband. Yes, yes. So I was told by some people around. And they even told me about the divorce. So I said to myself, these are the kind of people I should help. This woman and her child need help. So I sent my boy here, Samson. I sent him to you with some money. Well, sir, may God bless you abundantly for helping this family. Amen. Auntie, let's eat. You know, it's one of those things I normally do. Helping the poor. Uh. Mm. I normally... <laughs> you know... <laughs> sorry. My... You know, this is very cheap. It's not of my class. And besides... Uh, my servants normally do it in my house, so I don't do things like this. Um, <laughs> so, let's drink, let's drink. I heard you were too much. I heard you were exceptional. You need to be there to see how I did it. I am a natural actor. Forget. <laughs> wait, 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 Oko. What are you feeling like? I do am well now. No, no, no. Tell me, what are you feeling like? Because I said you did it well. Oko, nothing. Anyway, uh, she asked me to give you this. And how much is this? 20 grand. All for you. Oh, but I don't pass that level. Take this money back to her and tell her to give me 200,000 or else I'll expose everything. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, come on. The old grandma wears speaker for 20,000. Maybe they're gonna just lose that time. And this money will give up. Okay, let's. I told you I didn't trust that friend of yours. Now look at it. How am I supposed to give him 200,000 for just posing as a rich man? What does he mean? I mean, it's not like he has a genuine problem or something that I have to help him with. Look, 
Sweetie, this is cheap blackmail. Honestly, honey, I'm not falling for honey, it. Honey, I know. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but let's just give him the money and let him go with his troubles. Next time, we'll look for a more decent person to use. Next time? Like I'm supposed to show her different people every day as her benefactor. <sighs> well, guess we are stuck on a cone then. I don't like this. In fact, I'm not falling for it. <sighs> Sweetie. I don't like it too. Honestly, I don't, but I don't know. Let's just give it to him and let him go. Okay? Think about cruising around the campus in your own car. Babes go the hail. Think I'm well, well. Think I'm well. More money. Tell her I need one million naira more. Ukun, 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 you're crazy. I mean, what makes you think it matters to Olivia whether comfort knows or not? Jofi, Olivia needs that family. With her health condition, that family is the only psychological piece she has. So, she will pay any amount not to lose the family. You think I'm stupid, Abby? <laughs> I have put two and two together. So just tell her, tell her. Like money. <laughs> look, look, honey, I, I know, I know, but let's just give him the money and let him go. My friend, we will do no such thing. No million for what? Honey, I understand what you're saying. I, 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 I'm not happy about the situation, but let's just give... Sweetie, listen, listen, listen. Okon is actually a bag of troubles. Let's just settle this guy and let him go, please. That's what you said the first time. 200,000, now he's asking for 1 million. What's the guarantee that we'll give him this one and he won't ask for another one? Look, listen to me. I'm not giving him. I'd rather throw that money at the beggar on the street. Honey, if we don't, if we don't settle him, he's going to tell comfort. And uh, I don't think you'll like it. Uh, let him go. Let him do his worst. I'm not giving him. Joffrey, you don't return. You mean the same money done the Where is it? Bro, she refused though. She says she's not paying a couple. Not what? even a single couple. You are a liar. Joffrey, you are a liar. Okay. You collected the money I want to keep it to yourself, right? Kun, Okun, Okun, can you just keep quiet and listen? Keep quiet for where now? Uh, when I collected 200 k I will share it 50 50 without you asking me. Now it's your turn, you prefer to treat me like this. No trouble, no Okon, no Okon, can you just listen to me, please? Look, bet me. You must vomit that money. Wait and watch. Okon, Okon, she said she's not paying what? Not even a cover, Okon, Okon! Ah! Okon, come. Okon! Okay, you don't see the tree. Okay, just they walk straight, they come. Okay. Yes, Okon, what is it? Ah, Olivia, make we greet now. Which one? I'm not here to smile with you, alright? Just tell me what is so urgent that you needed to see me. Like you know, I don't care for you one bit. Neither do I trust you. So please, hurry. You know, trust me. But you trust you for your boyfriend, I do. 
Okay, for your information, the 200,000 Naira you gave to me, we shared it 50-50. Here you go. Oh, you don't know? Okay, that one is I decided. My problem is that you gave him one million Naira now. He has kept everything to himself. He refused to give me my own share. So I told him, I'll come and expose you. This is why I'm here. I don't believe you. Oh, you don't believe me? Okay. That one now, no problem. The thing where I want now, now money. If you don't give me money, I'll go to comfort. I'll expose you. I'll tell her that you are not the poor girl you pretend to be. That you're a rich girl. I don't know why you're living with them. Maybe you have a plan. Who even knows? So, don't say to me. If you don't say to me, I'll go tell her. You're a devil. You are the serpent himself. No problem. Just give me money. The money I want. Money. Olivia! Olivia! You never can go? Okay. I go show you. I go go with Madame Comfort, please. You go see. She you they call me Serpent, Abi. Your boyfriend, you know, see the one way Hindu. You they call I go show you Serpent style. You don't know who I do. Look me in the eye and deny it. Honey, this is not how it happened. Please, let Did me just you explain. Take a hundred thousand from Oko. And yeah, I, 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 I did, but it, it, it's it's not. Can I just again? You disappoint me. Haven't I shown you love? Haven't I given you enough love, Geoffrey? Tell me, what wrong have I done to you to deserve this kind of treatment? This level of betrayal. Is that what I mean to you? Is that all that I am to you? A bank? That in my condition, at this critical point in my life, you still have the heart. Please, can I, can I just explain that it's, it's not what you think? I don't ever want to see your face again. You don't, don't look for this. me. Because you won't find me. But you don't, you don't do this. I do not worry, I know love is here. Again and again. David, David, please. This is not why I'm here, okay? Alright. I know why you're here. To cry on my shoulders. He you breaks your heart and you come crying on my shoulders. Now, have you for once paused to imagine how this hurts me as well? Have you ever for once imagined how this might be hurting me as well? How it breaks my heart to watch a holy gun break your heart repeatedly? Huh? Have you? Please stop yelling, okay? I'm going to stop yelling. But this is where it all stops. This is where you choose, Geoffrey or me. You say loving him keeps you alive, but I tell you, Olivia, loving him is what will kill you. Do you want to die of a broken heart before the sickle cell kills you? Is that what you want to do? Olivia. 
Olivier. That was how they paid me 200,000 Naira to pretend to be the one helping you people. I am not the one helping you. I am a poor family student. Olivia is the one sending the whole money. Olivia is a rich girl. In fact, the money her family has can buy half of Guarimba Estates. I don't know why she's living here. And I don't know why she's pretending to be poor. Mr. Okon. We've heard all you said. But please, where is Olivia now? Yes, where is my aunt? I don't know. But you can call Samson or Jufri. They will know. Oh, David. Jufri. Thank God you're here. David, do you know why I called you? Because I wanted you to witness firsthand the result of your antics. David. The result of your handiworks, Geoffrey. David, what are you talking about? All thanks to extortion antics. Oh, okay, David, where's the doctor right now, please? The doctor is in there with her. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of phoning comfort as well. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. It's, it's going to create panic, and we don't want that right now, please. Geoffrey, what do you know about panic? Look, I, I, I know this is my fault, but don't worry, she'll be fine, okay? She'll be fine. It's, look, this whole thing is, you know, it happens all the time. It's part of our crisis. She'll be fine. I, I, I know that, okay? Please. Look how holy that I your friend. Oh, yeah, doctor. How is she? She suffered a brain stroke. Dead cells sticking to blood vessels in the brain. She must have been stressed or depressed, you know? We gave nitric oxide to free cells from the cells. And we gave her butyric acid to increase the level of hemoglobin in her blood. Doctor, please. Please, how is she right now? So, how is she now? Can we go and see her? Is she awake? We gave her the best. But the poor child is gone. What? Doctor, gone as in... As in gone to where? What do you mean gone? Yes, she died. I'm, I'm talking about Olivia, the same one that came to my house and, and we spoke and, and I brought her here and, and she passed out in my house and, and then, and then we, we came to the hospital and then you said she was going to be alright and then she went to the ward. We tried our best. Doctor gone? Calm down. Doctor gone? Gone to where?
Mother could always have to die. <laughs> Why did you take her away from us? We know you love her, but we love her too. Come on. I'll finish packing up things. But this, this is what I found in our room. This is your envelope. It looks like her will. We'll take it to her lawyers. Do you know them? Yes, I do. Let's keep it. We can go now. And please, let us know the barrier arrangements. We want to be there. Gentlemen brought it to my chambers. She's made out a sum of seven million naira for you in this check. For you and for Babi. And I guess you're in the list of her friends too. many lives with happiness. Fly on, Angel. And may God grant you rest in his bosom. Mommy, the whole seven million for us? Yes, my dear. 
we are okay now. An angel has touched our lives and turned it from sorrow to joy. <laughs> <laughs>